Hey friends, good morning. Uh, good to be with you. It is Thursday, March 3rd, uh, second day in the season of Lent. We have moved into this time of reflection and uh, reflection and and and, um, and 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 repentance. Time when we look at the reality of the world and 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 come face to face with its brokenness uh, and come face to face with our own brokenness. We recognize that we are people who are not all that God intends, intended and intends for us to be. And we live between this time where we have been saved, justified by the work of Jesus Christ, but, uh, but before we are fully redeemed, before we are fully um, glorified and, and sanctified. So we're justified, but we're being sanctified. That's a classic theological theological phrase uh, and we trust God in the presence in, in the presence of that today we are looking at one of the more well-known psalms uh, again we've been using Eugene Peterson's translation called the message and so this is going to sound a little different than you're used to but if you've been around uh, the church and you've been around the Bible there's a good chance you've heard this song um, you know, the the NIV, if I'm remembering correctly, begins at, Oh Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I lie down and when I get back up. Uh, you know when I go out and when I... I'm, now I'm par paraphrasing some. <laughs> um, but there are words that you're... So this, this paraphrase is going to sound a little different, but it's that same classic Psalm 139, the beautiful, beautiful psalm uh, that talks about the whole of a person's life and God's presence in it. Um, it's a... It's a reasonably lengthy psalm. So uh, I'll just stop talking. Let's take a moment to settle our hearts and then I'll read this for us and let's listen for God's uh, word to us this, this day. Psalm 139, God, investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and when I go and get back. I'm never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me and you're there. Then up ahead and you're there too, your reassuring presence coming and going. This is too much. It's too wonderful. I can't take it all in. Is there any place I can go that would avoid your spirit, to be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you're there. If I go underground, you're there. If I flew on morning's wings to the far western horizon, you'd find me in a minute. You're already there waiting. Then I said to myself, oh, he's even, he even sees me in the dark. At night, I'm immersed in the light. It's a fact. Darkness isn't dark to you. Night, day, darkness, and light, they're all the same to you. Oh yes, you shaped me, first inside, then out. You formed me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God, your breathtaking, body and soul. I'm marvelously made. I worship in adoration. What a creation. You know me inside and out. You know every bone in my body. You know exactly how I was made, bit by bit how I was sculpted from nothing into something. Like an open book, you watched me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you. The days of my life all prepared before I even lived one day. Your thoughts, how rare, how beautiful. God, I'll never comprehend them. I couldn't even begin to count them any more than I could count the sand of the sea. Oh, let me rise in the morning and live always with you. And please, God, do away with wickedness for good. And you murderers out of here, all the men and women who belittle you, God, and infatuated with cheap God imitations, see how I hate those who hate you, God. See how I loathe all this godless arrogance. I hate it with pure, unadulterated hatred. Your enemies are my enemies. Investigate my life, O oh God. Find out everything about me. Cross-examine and test me. Get a clear picture of what I'm about. See for yourself whether I've done anything wrong. Then guide me 
on the road to eternal life. I, I'm curious what your feeling is about being known. What does it mean to you that you are known by God? In fullness, in completeness, every aspect, every element, every every tittle and jot of your life is known by our God. Uh, is that a frightening idea? Is that a comforting idea? Uh, I think, in in a way, and if we were to study it more deeply, we would find for this psalmist, it's both. There is a sense of fear, but there's also a sense of of comfort in knowing that God knows every aspect of who we are. And we praise Him. Uh, because as we're wonderfully made, God uh, God loves us and is working to redeem us. We see all that in this psalm. Hey, join me uh, in a moment, a time of prayer for the day ahead. Lord, it's good to know that you are with us, that you know every aspect of us, all our, all our strengths and all of our faults every aspect of our brokenness and yet you still receive us you don't give up on us you don't wait to see how we turn out before you choose us Lord you've known us you know us you know us completely you know every aspect of what this day will hold and you go ahead of us to prepare the way Lord, today, help us to be people who follow you in all that we do, all that we're about. Help us to hold up your, your name in our, in our life, in our being. Friends, I invite you to take a moment to pray for the day ahead, whatever's on your heart, your mind. Lord, hear our prayer. So, Lord, hear our prayers. 